Massey Ferguson is a Canadian-based multinational corporation that is truly worldwide. Together with its associates and licensees, Massey Ferguson manufactures or assembles its products in 90 factories located in 30 countries around the globe. Frenchmen, Germans, Italians, Englishmen, Brazilians, Argentinians, Mexicans, Australians, South Africans, Americans and Canadians are some of the many nationalities that make up a total workforce of more than 57,000 people. Massey Ferguson manufactures a complete range of farm machinery that helps produce food to feed a rapidly growing world population. Industrial machines are also part of Massey Ferguson's range of products. As are the Perkins diesel engines, which are used to power most of the company's products, as well as those of other manufacturers. A wide range of construction machines are also manufactured in Europe. Under a new management team committed to restoring the company to profitability, increased emphasis is being placed on Massey Ferguson's major product lines and on the factories in North America and Europe where they are manufactured. Massey Ferguson's management team is led by a relatively new president, 38-year-old Victor Rice. Personable, dynamic, and with a clear vision of the future, he has more than 20 years of hard-earned experience in industry. As part of his effort to strengthen internal communications, Victor Rice has been visiting the plants and meeting the men and women who build the product. When I visit plants in the United States, I'm extremely encouraged by the friendly atmosphere and the rapport that uh, seems to be both between the workers and between the workers and the management team. Listen, it, it takes how long to get the cab off the About three minutes, four minutes, six. <laughs> For me, it's six. It's really works well. <laughs> products of extremely high quality, extremely high degrees of competitiveness, the lowest possible cost and uh, providing the highest level of productivity. The key to that whole process has to be to continually devote high levels of expenditure for research and development. Massey Ferguson is a recognized leader in product technology. At its engineering and research centers in Detroit, Michigan, Engineers and designers test their concepts and ideas with sophisticated electronic equipment. Other engineering centers are located in Canada, England, and France. This one here? Another. Right. Another, another version. Another idea yeah. of a uh, side view, and then we translate it into a, into front, a front, front view. Yeah. It's a tremendous market, North American market. It's a, a market that for Massey Ferguson particularly holds a prospect for one of the key elements of our future strategy. That process of um, recognition of tradition to me is crucial because there's a heritage within the company. There's an underlying strength in the company that transcends either myself or the, the, the present management team. There's a continuity that's there that's very important. My relatives there. Are they really? This is my brother in law, that's his brother. And the first stage is another my brother in law.
Nancy Ferguson can trace its Canadian heritage back to 1847, when Daniel Massey began manufacturing farm implements at Newcastle, Ontario. Around the turn of the century, Massey's company was merged with that of a fellow Canadian, Allenson Harris, and the new company, Massey Harris, became an important exporter of farm machinery to world markets. Today, at its plant in Brantford, Ontario, the company produces a line of self-propelled and full-type combines for North American and world markets. These combines, at 10 tons, are as big as a large truck and can harvest more than 100 acres a day, with an hourly capacity of up to 17 tons of wheat. Canada. Uh, it's my adopted home, another key market for Massey Ferguson's long-term success. We have to further improve the productivity of our Canadian combine harvesting factory. Combine harvesters are again a huge key to the world grain production. It's there, you know, the whole market of the world is open to Massey Ferguson. We, we, we can do it. I think we've demonstrated in the last little while that we have the, the capacity and capability. Good morning, Bill. Good day, Howard. How are you this morning? A global network of more than 8,000 dealers and distributors sells the company's products in approximately 160 countries. This is the front line where the company must achieve its goal of increased sales. They've done a quite an outstanding job. Yeah, there's a lot of room. Thank you. Thank you. The company's industrial machinery line has a high degree of interchangeability of parts with its farm tractors. Industrial machines such as these at the Detroit plant are used in a wide range of activities, including home building, material handling, and landscaping. Built in the United States and in England, Massey Ferguson Industrial Machinery is marketed worldwide. Located in the heart of a French farming district near Paris, the Beauvais tractor plant has almost tripled in size since it was opened in 1960. Expansion of production capacity allows the Beauvais facility to build a great variety of tractor models up to the giant 2000 series. Combine harvesters are produced at another plant in Marquette, France. When I walk through plants around the world and see the hundreds of workers within those plants, I'm left with a certain feeling of awesome responsibility. On the other hand, uh, I am extremely encouraged. Uh, I went recently to our French plant and there was an open day at the plant and there was one of the workers proudly showing all of the kids in the village where he works and how the products that Massey Ferguson makes are produced. The new star. <laughs> Such a diverse company. What, what's underlying it to me is the huge opportunity, which frankly we haven't yet tapped, to take the talent that exists within Massey Ferguson and, and just build on it. Thank you.